Hi everyone, welcome to Online Math TV. Today we have a system of exponential equation which says x to the power of 5 equal to 4 to the power of x. What then will be the value of x? Now, I solved this uh, simple challenge using two different approaches. The first approach I used uh, gave me a clumsy result, a clumsy answer. Uh, but I now use a second approach which give a uh, same answer but in a clearer form, okay? So I'm going to use the second approach that we give a clearer a picture of the final answer. And also, uh, I want to engage my viewers, my subscribers at the end of this video uh, uh, with something. And so it's expected that you stay from the beginning to the end of uh, this class. So I uh, want a special whereby you give me a feedback. I want to get your feedback from uh, this uh, challenge at the end of the exercise to know how far you've actually uh, gone in uh, learning from online mass TV. Okay, so with that being said, if you're new to this channel, this is online mass TV where we learn mathematics all the time. And if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you can get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. All right, so. We put down a solution to the question. Solution. The question is x to the power of 5 equal to 4 to the power of x. Now, we could align both sides of the equation or take a log to be stem of both sides of the equation and we solve our head. Okay? But that approach is the one that said I give the closing answer. Look at what I did here. I want to raise both sides of the equation to 1 all over x. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to have this to be x to the power of 5 all raised to the power of 1 all over x. Okay, then this is equal to your 4 to the power of x or to the power of 1 all over x. Easy. Now, if you look at this, we can use this to open this, use this to open this. If you remember the law of indices, which says that if you have your um, uh, a to the power of mn, this is equal to your a to the power of m bracket n, and we can equally get this to be a to the power of n bracket your m. So if we succumb to this, this is an exponent, this is an exponent, this is an exponent, this is an exponent. So if we open up, this will give us here your x to the power of 5 all over x. This is equal to then your 4, sorry, your 4 to the power of your x all over x. This, this leaves the system. So we now end up having your x to the power of 5 all over x. This is equal to 4. So at this point, we can now introduce our ln, okay? So if we take the natural log of both sides, this will now give us here your ln of your x r to the power of 5 all over x. This is equal to ln of 4. Easy. So what we do, yeah, this is an exponent again. So according to the law of logarithm, it says that if you have log your k to the power of p, move this exponent backward to give us here our p dot log your k, right? So if we do that, automatically we're going to move this back to this side of the equation. So let's continue on this side. So apply the law here now. This will now give us here your 5 all over x ln of your x, all right, equal to the ln of 4. From here, what we do? I want to divide through by 5. So if I divide through by 5, this will give me 5 all over your x ln of x all over 5 equal to ln of 4 all over 5. This, this will leave the system. True? Good. So if this, this leaves the system, I'm now left with 1 all over x 
ln of x equal to ln of 4 all over your 5. Okay. Good. So look at this. I want to rewrite this expression we have here now. Okay. So if I rewrite this, remember if we have your e to the power of your ln of your star, this will give us your star. True? Good. Because this is ln base e. So if we are having e to the power of ln base e, this, this leaves the system to give us this. So I can rewrite this expression I have here now. So if I rewrite this, I will have here to be ln of x dot your e to the power of ln of 1 all over x here. So we have, and 1 all over x could be written as your x minus 1. Good. All right. This is equal to the ln of your 4 all over 5. Good. Again, we can move this minus 1 to this side of this log. So if now give us here ln of x dot your e to the power of minus ln of x. So this is equal to the ln of 4 all over 5. All right, now we want to evoke the Lambert W function. Before we can evoke that, we must make sure that what we have here and what we have on the exponents are the same. Now we have a minus ln of x here, but here we don't have a minus i here. So we have to multiply both sides by minus 1. Okay, so if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we go to come up with your minus ln of x dot your e to the power of minus ln of x equal to minus ln of your 4 all over 5. Easy. All right, let me write the minus way. Minus come this way. Okay, so we now have this. Now, again, let's continue this side. So, all right, let's bring in our Lambert W function. What does it say? It says that if you have um, if you have your star, okay, times your e all to the power of your star, then if we take the Lambert W function, this will give us our star, provided the base what number is equal to the exponent here. Okay, so if we apply that here, we know that what we have at the base here is the same thing we have at the exponent. So we're taking the Lambert W function, this is bracket minus ln of x dot your e to the power of minus ln of x close bracket this is equal to your lambert w function of your bracket minus ln of 4 all over 5 close bracket easy all right with this we are now left with minus ln of x equal to your Lambert W function of minus ln of 4 all over 5. Close bracket. Easy. Okay. So what do we do here now? Dx minus here, we can take it backward. Okay. So if we take it backward, this will now give us, let's erase this first. So if we take this backward, we're going to have here to be x into the minus 1 equal to the Lambert W function of minus there for all over 5. Easy, right? Good. So what we do here, we have to raise this to E. So if we introduce our E, we're going to have this to be your E to the power because we want to eliminate this ln. Okay, of x raised to minus 1, then equal to, we have your e also to the power of lambda w function minus ln of 4 all over your 5 close bracket. Easy. This, we go with x. So, we now have here x minus 1 equal to your e to the power of your lambda w function ln of 4 
close bracket, all over 5. So how do we get our x now? You just to find the reciprocal of everything. Okay? So if we look for the reciprocal of everything, this will now give us here your x is equal to your 1 all over your e to the power of your w, the bracket minus ln of 4 all over your 5. This is your 5 leaks, lose your bracket. All right, so this is the value of our x. Now, here comes the work or the task I said I will give to my subscribers or my viewers. What is the numerical value of this? And I've told my viewers time with that number that to get the numerical value here, all you need to do is to go to your Wolfram Mafa calculator and impute this into it. Whatever you have, then take it to that power and whatever answer you have, they come down, write one all over the numerical value, and that will give you the value of x. If you do that and impute it into our exponential here, uh, our original equation here, it will satisfy the equation. But I decide to leave that part for you. Okay, so try it out. Whatever you have as your answer, drop it in the comment section. I will respond to it swiftly to know if you have really gotten the use of the uh, Wolfram Alpha calculator from this um, exponential challenge using the Lambert W function. All right, so this marks the end to this exponential challenge. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.